I listen to all you prize fighters who don't want to meet defeat. Good day. The etiquette required in today's technological world is a minefield which can make even the greatest among us want to throw his hands up in profanity-laden frustration. But fear not, for I, Meredith Oldenrod, am here to help you traverse the landscape of these most particular problems for free. This is Ask Oldenrod a Question, whereupon he will answer it publicly if he deems it sufficiently interesting, or ignore it if he does not. This week's question comes from Trevor S., who telephoned me this question via email. Can I answer my phone at a funeral? Thank you for asking such a succinct question, Trevor. The short answer is no. The medium answer is my God, man, what's wrong with you? And the long answer is yes. Allow me to explicate. Even though people have come to accept the ever-present cell phone and are comfortable with people using them during conversations, at dinner, at work, during coitus, and in the bathing room, there are still some locations and situations where their use is a taboo, such as a memorial for a dear colleague, friend, or family member. Answering your cell phone at a funeral can only be considered acceptable if you answer with a Bluetooth headset. If you arrived at a funeral with said headset firmly in ear, preemptively and unambiguously labeling yourself a social retard, and only if, for the totality of your call, you speak directly toward the freshly minted corpse, speaking loudly and emotionally and occasionally saying, it's not fair, it's not fair, he or she was so young. As to the question of whether it is ever permissible to place a telephonic call from a funeral, there is but a single circumstance for which you may do so without ending up cohabitating the recently purchased casket whose owner you are paying tribute to, and that is if you are Jack Bauer, and you have just discovered that the nuclear bomb you have been searching for for the past seven hours is inside the pastor delivering the most touching address for your departed loved one, and you need to request your torture equipment to utilize on said religious fluster bus in order to determine exactly who planted the explosives within him. I am quite certain this answers your question more fully than you could have imagined, Trevor. You're welcome. If you have a question for me, Meredith Eldenrod, about matters of etiquette regarding today's most Byzantine technological world, you may send it via carrier pigeon or electronic communique to Meredith Eldenrod at gmail.com, whereupon I will answer it publicly if I find it sufficiently interesting, or ignore it if I do not, which is most likely. Good day. <laughs> I listen to all you prize fighters who don't want to meet defeat. Listen to all you prize fighters who don't want to meet defeat. Take a tip from me, the of Joe Lewis is beat.